Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and today's next video of my series where I teach you guys React.js from the beginning and on this video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to work with a, with a library or a package called React Router DOM and basically it allows you to have different pages in, in your like different routes in your application which basically simulates for example having different HTML pages in a normal project and we're going to be installing it Basically, you can just go to your terminal and write npm install react router router dom. And let's in the meantime, create a folder called pages, which will basically represent the different pages that we're going to have. And for this example, it's going to be really simple. I'm going to create like a login page. I'm not going to make them. I'm just going to create them so you guys can see and um i don't know about us page okay in each one of them i'm going to give a i'm going to make it a functional component so rfc and you can see that now we have our pages here i'm going to write about us so you guys can like see the difference between both pages and login okay now we have two different components and the other thing is you don't want to like I could call the about us component here so the login component for example and import it on the top here import login from pages wait pages slash login and you'll see that yeah it will appear in the screen However, I want to I want to make it appear in the screen whenever I change this to, for example, slash login, right? Currently, it's it appears because for everything it will appear this the same thing. However, I want to change whatever is in the screen based on whatever route I write in my URL. So now we have to import everything that we need from the package. So I can come here and write import browser router as router and route basically this means that we're importing a router and we want to represent these two components from the package so i can write here from and the name of the practice the package which is react router dom and now we can simply create a component called route router over here so let me create a router and this will represent basically all the different paths that we want in our in our page right so all the different routes and I can write here, create, for example, a route. And in our case, we're going to have three of them. And I'm going to explain why I only created two. I'm going to show you. We need to create another page right here to represent the main page. Like the first thing you get, you enter in the in the website. So I'm going to call it main.js. And let me give it an RFC. And right here, main page. Basically just means that whenever you enter the website, this is the main, the first thing you want to do, right? This is the first page or the first route you want to, you want to see. So let me import this main and over here, main. And the first page, the first route, we need to give it a path. So the path is basically whatever is going to be written over here. So it's like, for example, slash login. In our case, we just want to put a slash on the first one because it's basically meaning whenever we just enter without anything here, we want to see the main page, right? So I can come here and write render. And the syntax is basically a function that you can pass props if you want to pass props for, for a route. However, we're not going to do this in this video. And after an arrow func an arrow syntax and the component you want to render. So I want to render the main components. So here, and let me just copy and paste this for all the other two and change this to slash login, which because we're going to render the login page and slash about us. Don't forget to import the login and about us components on the top because I usually forget it. So about us. But there's an issue, right? It says main page, but you still need to recognize it as the main, like I, I, you can't just list this as a, a slash and it will automatically know this is the main page, right? You need to write here another property called exact. exact. So go to the first page you wanna see and write exact. So if I save this, 
you can see that when I just go to localhost 3000 or the name of my website, it will render the main page. But when I go to the localhost 3000 slash login, it will render the login. If I go to the about us, you'll see that it will show, oh, I wrote about us wrong. It will show the about us page. And you can use this for many things. You can even like make it not be a different page. You can make it uh, just render different stuff. It's, re it's a really interesting library. It's probably one of the most used libraries out there because everyone w likes to make a website with routes. It's very useful. And I just think it's something really in interesting to learn, especially when you're like in the beginner to intermediate level, which I think you guys should be getting now if you're doing like the projects, if you're following the, the tutorials. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, please stick around to see the next video of the series where I teach you guys more stuff about React and please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and I see you guys next time.